Hanson Dam Recreational Lake may look picturesque, but more than 20 LA lifeguards say it recently gave them a nasty bacterial infection. The lifeguards say their bodies were covered in rash from a condition known as swimmer's itch. Lifeguards say they warned their supervisors the lake was unsafe because it hadn't been tested for parasites. I didn't want to risk my health, you know, for a job. According to the grievance filed by the Lifeguards Labor Union, the SEIU local chapter, the city workers were ordered to swim in the lake during training despite concerns about the water being unsafe and needing to be tested. I swam Saturday with all my fellow lifeguards. There was a negative impact. Hours later, an email has been erupted about it. We notified management. Management was well aware of it, and they continued to let them swim the next day. The city didn't cancel Sunday, te Sunday testing. Can you believe that? They didn't cancel it after Saturday. More lifeguards got into the water, and more lifeguards ended up at the doctors. I don't know how else to say it, but this is one of the worst cases of management negligence that I have seen in recent history. What's worse, many of these lifeguards had expressed doubts about the safety of the water weeks before the test. You know when your first responders raise concerns about safety, it's time to listen. It basically looked like I had pimples all over my body and um, it, it, was, it was pretty bad. The doctor already seen multiple employees. So when she saw me, she literally said, you have the worst condition. And uh, during that time I was on heavy medication, it makes you lethargic, impairs your, uh, it can impair your vision, upset stomach, um, drowsiness, I mean the list goes on. I want to say it lasted over two weeks now, about roughly two weeks. I mean, I am doing better. I'm concerned because I still have open sores in a sense, but they're not fully healed. It's a type of suffering, sure. I mean, I don't know if these sores are going to heal. There might be physical scars on me. I mean, in a sense, I can be self-conscious about taking my shirt off as a lifeguard. I mean, yeah, it can be emotional. If I didn't have a union, then I'm not sure what, what I would do. Um, the, the union is, is there to intermediate between like management and staff. Because nobody, and I mean nobody, should have to get sick with welts and rashes just to do their job. This fight is not just about life for us, but about the quality of the life of Angelinos who rely on our facilities. The city of Los Angeles basically needs to clean up their act and fix the water issues today. We just, we want somebody that, that we can trust, that will listen. I want public to know about this. This sign is not suffice enough for the public. And yeah, they're shoreline fishing, but what if someone falls into the water? They have the right to know this isn't getting good. So I'm here having this interview too to show my face and speak my voice and have a voice for my staff and the community here because I feel like we're endangering the public, including our staff. In other words, we are employed to rescue lives, but we cannot look out for them.